Parks launched the ball, dropped it, turned around, dunks it. Frazier, another drive and another dunk. Boy, Frazier. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Check it out, y'all. Come on. Don't stop. Don't again. stop. And again. he's stolen away. Clark with the layup, and it's good. Yeah. We on the road. Bring it. Bring it. And yeah. And takes it back. Yeah. Atkins. Three. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Check it out, y'all. Don't stop. Check it out, y'all. Welcome to Junior Nosa Marina as this is Larry Cecil along with Justin Holbrook. Tonight will be the girls 58th district semifinal games. The first game tonight will be Floyd Central, the number one seed, and Prestonsburg. And before we get started into the uh, stats for both teams, Tonight's game will be brought to you live on WPRG.TV Facebook page and WPRG-TV YouTube channel. Radio coverage will be WXKZ 105.3 FM, The Cat. And the playback for tonight's game will be on WPRG-TV 5 and HD 105. That will be Tuesday at 9 p.m. Tonight's live games is uh, will be in Pikeville as uh, Pikeville and Shelby Valley will be on TV. That will be on Channel 5 and HD 105. Also, they will be on Facebook page and YouTube page. And also, uh, over in the 60th District, you've got Pike Central and Phelps boys in their uh, game tonight. And you can see that also on WPRG TV Facebook and YouTube page. So we encourage everyone, if you're watching, to let us know where you're watching from. Give us a comment on who you're rooting for. Like and share, and you'll have a notification on the next time that we will be on the air for the games this week and next week. And now, Justin, getting into tonight's game, Floyd Central and uh, Prestonsburg, go over some numbers for Floyd Central. Floyd Central on the season 16 and 4, only lost three games, which is a low number, it seems like, for all the <laughs> games we've done. Only right. losing three to COVID doesn't seem too bad. Um, shooting 46% from the field, 28% from the three point line, 64% from the free throw line. Uh, Katie Joe Moore leads them in scoring 18 points a game. Kennedy Harville with 14 points a game. Grace Martin with nine. Jada Johnson with eight, Cameron Shannon with five, and Riley Joe Cumpton with five. They're averaging 63 points a game and led in rebound, and Grace Martin with eight rebounds, Katie Joe Moore with eight, Jada Johnson with five, Riley Joe Cumpton with three, and Cameron Shannon with three. And, you know, that uh, they like to get inside the paint other than Harville and Shannon. They really don't shoot the three-pointer. They only shot their kind of surprise. 28% is not very good from the three-point line, but they don't shoot very many outside of those two. You know, they, it more likes that mid-range game and right. Grace Martin under the goal and Jada Johnson under the goal. Well, you know, and, and uh, the last game that we had them here at, uh, let's see, no, it was over at uh, Floyd Central when they played uh, uh, Pikeville and beat them yes. uh, in overtime. Uh, Johnson and uh, Shannon actually uh, started taking the ball to the bucket more yes. than uh, what we normally seen, as well as Harville. So uh, yeah. I think they added that to their game here a little late in the season. Yeah, and that's going to be a contrasting style because I'm sure when you go over those Prestonburg stats, they like to shoot the three. A lot. They, yeah, they do. <laughs> a lot. And also uh, Floyd Simpson, 16 and two. In uh, the region, yeah. uh, or 13 or two, excuse me, uh, in the region. And yes. those two losses was to Johnson Central and Belfry. Yes. And then uh, Pikeville, uh, according to the RPI, is ranked number one in the region. And 
uh, Floyd Central had to win over Pikeville, so they're right there amongst all the uh, other top teams here in the region. Yeah, th this uh, Floyd Central team can easily win the regional tournament if things go their way, but, you know, the Johnson Central, Belfry, I mean, Shelby Valley, there's a lot of other teams that's got something else to say about it, too. Yes, they have. And now for Prestonsburg, they came in, uh, come in tonight's game averaging 60.4 points a game, shooting at 36.8 from the field. From three-point line, 31.1%, but they're averaging eight made yes. three-pointers a game. Yeah, they put them up. 56.4 from the free throw line, which is not a, a very high average for a team average. They're averaging eight points a game uh, from the uh, free throw line. As uh, far as uh, rebounds, they're averaging 36 rebounds a game. So uh, that's a whole lot of rebounds to average per game. As far as individual stats, Faith Lazar is the number one scorer at 15.5 points a game. Selena Mullins comes in 11.8, and Olivia Sloan at uh, 9.10. You could, uh, or excuse me, 10.9. I got it backwards. Or you could say 11 points a game. Uh, and those three are uh, their three uh, point shooters, along with Kylie Stevens. Uh, Kylie Stevens has made. Uh, uh, 42 three-pointers this year, wow. 54 by Olivia Sohn, 58 to Selena Mullins and Faith Lazar, 33. So they've got uh, three players, that, or excuse me, four players that's uh, sh uh, made a, a high number of three-pointers. Kylie Stevens averaging 7.8 points a game. Maggie Nelson, 5.7. As far as uh, rebounding-wise, uh, Selena Mullins, uh, 9.2 rebounds a game, almost 10 yes. rebounds a game. And, yeah, that and, game. Uh, she yeah. don't have a don't have a big frame on her. That's just no. all in our determination. Yes. Faith Lazar, 6.8 uh, rebounds a game, 5.5 rebounds a game for Maggie uh, Nelson. So, you know, uh, these two teams uh, has met up so uh, <clears throat> throughout the season. They had a game uh, – Prestonsburg at Floyd Central. Floyd Central won that game 66 to uh, 50. And let's see, I had the other game marked here. Uh, at Floyd Central uh, or, and 74 uh, 52 at Prestonsburg. So both games so far in the season, Floyd Central has handled them pretty easy. So, <laughs> but everybody's 0 0 starting this. Uh, Second season, so zero and zero. We're going to take a break. Send it back to the station. We'll be back shortly. This is Rena Mountain Sports Network. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a State Farm agent for over 20 years here in Pike. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our client. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Hello, Bob Hutchison here with Hutch Chevy Buick GMC in Paintsville, Kentucky. This month, spring has sprung. Get up to $7,000 off the new 2021 Chevy Silverado and take $3,000 off the new 2021 Equinox. Plus, get 0% financing for up to 72 months. And it all comes with our spring guarantee. You'll never pay too much when you buy from Hutch. Hutch on up your side. Hey y'all, so today me and Maddie decided to bring Connor and our girls day to Southern Print. We started off with Odro Tees, and me and Maddie moved to our favorite brand, Thread and Supply. Me and Maddie picked out our favorite polo from Honored Reserve. Next was Southern Marsh, and his favorite, the normal brand. Y'all stop by and see Corey at Southern Print for the cutest outfits all year round. again. Dealing with a child of realtor? Well, it's not about them, it's about you. Make an adult decision and call us. No one sells more real estate than Remax. 
Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. It's March Gladness here at Pop Chevy in Prestonsburg, which means we've got 0% for up to 72 months and 1.9% for up to 84 months on select new vehicles. Got a stimulus check coming? Put that money down on a vehicle that's going to last longer than this pandemic on one of our hundreds of pre-owned vehicles here on the lot. Come take advantage of March Gladness here at Pop Chevy 600 US 23 in Prestonsburg. You'll be glad you did. Well, spring is here with warmer temperatures and sunshine. Now that means let's go camping. Pikeville RV has new campers arriving daily and they've added two new lines, new Cherokee travel trailers and east-west campers. Whether you're looking for a drivable, fifth wheel, toy hauler, travel trailer or pop-ups, Pikeville RV is the place to shop. Remember, they have a great selection of pre-owned campers that qualify for buy here, pay here. It's time to go camping. Back here at Junior News Marina, four minutes to go before, uh, I want to say tip off, but coin flip. I yeah, guess well, they the probably already flip. done the coin flip. But, exactly. Uh, start of the game, uh, 58 district matchup. I mean, this is what it all boils down to right here. Exactly. And uh, I'd like to let everyone know that, uh, again, on the TV coverage at 7 o'clock tonight, you can see live on WPRG TV5 and HD 105 Shelby Valley and Pikeville. That's the boys district, 59th district coming to you from Pikeville. Also at nine o'clock tonight, you can see the replay uh, of the uh, Floyd Central and Prestonburg's girls, the game that's about ready to take place here. And then at 10.30 tonight, you can watch the playback of Pike Central and Phelps boys that will be played in the 60th district tonight. Our game here is live on WPRG.TV Facebook page and WPRG-TV YouTube channel. Also, radio coverage tonight will be on WXKZ 105.3 The Cat. And the playback for the night's game here uh, will be Tuesday night at uh, 9 o'clock. Uh, that will be the uh, second game tonight. Also, uh, I'd like to let everyone know that uh, Intermountain Sports Network uh, like to thank all of our partner sponsors for becoming part of the broadcast team during this tournament in the 58th, 59th, and 60th district, and also next week at the 15th region. And we have on board Appalachian Wireless, Jennifer Reynolds State Farm, HPT Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine, Pop Chevrolet, Total Pharmacy Care, Community Trust Bank, Gearheart Security, Remax Legacy, Frontier Medical Group, Southern Prep, Intermountain Cable, Citizens National Bank of Kentucky, Hired Family Pharmacy, Attorney John Earl Hunt, Overhead Door of Eastern Kentucky, Hutch Chevrolet, and Pikeville RV. Good list of sponsors bringing it to us here. Yes, it is. And like we said, if you're watching on Facebook, give us a comment on who you're rooting from, where you're rooting from, like and share. Share it with your Facebook friends so everybody can see it. We've got people watching in from Lexington and a former uh, McDowell High School alum rooting on the Jags. We've got Georgetown, Kentucky looking in. Also, uh, MacDowell looking in from uh, Pikeville, Berea, Kentucky watching. So got plenty on there. Ah. 
So a lot of uh, a lot of action here last night. As <laughs> yeah. if anybody missed it, yeah. uh, Betsy Lane and Lawrence County will be in the boys championship game Thursday night. And when we get through with these games here tonight, we'll know who's going to be in the championship game for the girls. Yeah, it's going to be interesting night. I mean. Last night, Betsy Lane, the one seat, came out on fire. I mean, straight out of the gate. And, yes, you know, they did. Sometimes nerves get the best of them a little bit, but Betsy Lane was ready. So, see what happens with Floyd Central. See if they come out a little flat or a little nerves or they're gung ho, ready to just lay the pedal to the metal because they like to get up and down. Well, like you said, you know, and we've talked about this here is the game that you have your nerves yes, yeah. with because once you get past this game. You punch the ticket next week. What yeah. does it make any difference? What happened yeah. Friday night? Playing with that house money if you can get by tonight. Yes. So we're going to send it over to the PA announcer and get our starting lineups for tonight's first game between Floyd Central and Prestonsburg. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Junior Newsom Arena for tonight's first round action of the Kentucky High School Athletic Association 2021 Girls 58th District Basketball Tournament. Our first matchup of the night is between the Lady Black Cats of Prestonsburg High School. And the home team on the scoreboard, the Floyd Central High School Lady Jaguars. Nice crowd here tonight. Yes. Let the lights down, spotlight will be on. And now let's meet our starters. First, for the visitors on the scoreboard, the Lady Black Cats of Prestonsburg High School. Starting at guard, a 5'5 senior, number 10, Kylie Stevens. Starting at guard, a 5'6 sophomore, number 13, Sol Mullins. Starting at guard, a 5'6 senior, number 21, Olivia Sloan. Starting at forward, a 5'10 sophomore, number 22, Maggie Nelson. And starting at forward, a 5'8 junior, number 25, Faith Lazar, head coach for the Lady Black Cats, Brandon Kidd. What an introduction. And now that. let's meet the home team on the scoreboard, the Lady Jaguars of Floyd Central High School. <laughs> Starting at guard, a 5'5 five, five sophomore, number five, Kennedy Harville. <laughs> Starting at forward, a 5'8 sophomore, number 11, Jada Johnson. Starting at guard, a 5'8 senior, number 12, Katie Jo Moore. Starting at guard, a 5'0 junior, number 15, Cameron Shanna. And starting at center, a 5'10 junior, number 45, Green. Martin, head coach for the Lady Jaguars, Justin Triplett. And that's the starting lineups for tonight's first game of the girls' 58th district tournament. Always get you fired up to go, <laughs> boy. I'm telling you. Does a great job. I like the Sean Howells, the good one on. on yeah, on. yeah, yes. It's like a 2-3 for Prestonsburg. And Moore quickly with the shot up, no good. Lazar comes off with the rebound for Prestonsburg. It's gonna be real important for Prestonsburg to limit Floyd Central to one shot. And slow into the corner. And ball was tilted into the backcourt, so no violation. Boy, nice crossover dribble by Lazar and rattles it in down the lane and Prestonburg takes the lead 2-0. There's Moore 
Ten footer in the lane, no good. Lazar with the rebound. One and done. Sloan over to Lazar. Yeah. Walked. Yeah, had a little happy feet right in front of the official, and uh, he's seen it. Yeah. Yeah, Prestonsburg can limit Floyd Central to one shot. That, that'll, that'll keep you in the game. Moore into the front court, gets it over to Shannon. Johnson, three. No good. Rattles out. And again, Prestonsburg with the defensive rebound. That's Maggie Nelson with it. Sloan dribbles. Cut off now. Gets it out to Mullins. She can shoot that three. I think she's made the most three-pointers for him, as well as Sloan. And her three-pointer's no good. Rebound comes off to Katie Moore. Good box out by Jada Johnson. And here's Shannon putting it on the floor, as we said in the pregame. Yes. We've seen a lot more. And Katie Joe Moore down inside working for the rebound puts it up and in. A little token full court pressure. So it's tied at two. Here's Selena Mullins. Mullins working inside. Sloan down the lane. Shot up. No good. Rebound comes off Johnson. And here is Harville, three, no good. Battle for the rebound, and nice save. Well, now it's saved, I guess. <laughs> well, maybe not. Playing a little volleyball <laughs> with it, a little soccer. And Nelson finally picks it up in the front court. I think about four or five players hit that one. Here's Mullins driving down the lane, and her shot no good, gets her own rebound, puts it off the glass and in. And the Lady Black Cats, four to two. Ready to play. Model, or excuse me, Grace Martin at the top service. It. She thought about the three. You're exactly right. Now they'll go inside Johnson and pass is taken away. Selena Mullins. Lazar, three in the eye. High arcing shot. No good. Rebound comes off. That's Shannon with it. Quickly into the front court. They give it to Johnson and she's walked. Yes. Took a little bunny hop. Yep. Wanting to play fast, but yeah. you got to play under control fast. Yep. We've got fans looking in from Evansville, Indiana, Bristle, Buck, mm -hmm. Kentucky, Letcher Central looking in. Also, our old buddy Kurt Stamper in Knott County. Kurt tunes us in about every time we're on the air. Good basketball to watch. Tournament time especially, good time to watch. Exactly. Here's Pressburg Sloan down the lane, and it's going to be a foul before the shot. And that foul's going to go on Shannon, I think. Just under five minutes here left in the first quarter. It's four to two Pressburg and wow, could have been six yeah. to two, but Lazar missed a layup and then we had a foul. And I think that's gonna be on Kylie Stevens. So that's Pressburg's yeah, first a, team foul. That's a missed opportunity right there for uh, Pressburg. Yeah, you're right at the rim. You've yeah. got to make those. Yep, yeah, and your leading scorer too, right at the rim. So. Right. So here's Grace Martin comes out on top and takes it. Now they work inside. Katie Joe Moore over to Johnson. Beautiful pass, and Johnson puts it in, and we're tied at four. Good pass. This is where Prestonsburg is going to have to handle this pressure. As Sloan gets it into the front court, spin move down the pass. lane, and Nelson shot blocked. Coach Kidd wanting to foul, nothing doing. Katie Joe Moore to the bucket, and she's blocked for Selena Mullins. Mullins comes up with it. I like the way the officials yeah. is letting them go at it to start with. Kylie Stevens, Sloan, she looked at it. Shannon on Mullins, Mullins taking it down the lane, stopped, shot up, no up, yeah. called for the walk before the shot. Yep, shuffled that, kind of slid that back foot. We're tied at four with four minutes to go here in the first quarter. This pace definitely favors Prestonsburg. It does. Low scoring game, and it's Pressburg this time in the 2-3 zone, and Grace Martin misses one about eight foot out. Rebound comes off to Prestonsburg. I think the nerves are getting a little bit. We've seen a couple of easy shots miss. Both sides. Yeah. Yes. Sloan. Here's Mullins looking for a screen. And nice take to the bucket and putting it up and in. Number 25, Faith Lazar. And Prestonburg back out six to four. Here's a long three by Harville County off the right side. That's her spot. Yes. 
Floyd Central with their first lead of the night, seven to six. Comes with 3.15 left here in this first quarter. Mullins down in the corner looking for some help. Now she puts it on the floor, fires up a three, no good. And Moore throws it out to Harville, goes under, puts, misses it, she's fouled. I like the hustle by Lazar to get back. Yes. She's a player now. Yes. The only thing is they're going to need her scoring a lot too. You know, you don't right. want to pick up some cheap ones. Kennedy Harville will be at the line with two free throws, makes the first, extends her team's lead 8-6. Clock rests with 2.59 left here in the first quarter. First semi-final game of the girls' 58th district tournament. The night count will feature Lawrence County and the homestanding Betsy Lane Lady Bobcats. So we're going to take a break. Be right back. This is your New Mountain Sports Network. I suffered with addiction as a child. I was raised like in a normal home. I had hopes and dreams to be something. I just never learned any real coping skills. I had ADHD, uh, depression, and anxiety. And this thing comes along, and that's what happened to me. You know, it became my crutch for dealing with the world. And I found this place, and I gave them a chance. I wouldn't be here today if, if not for the help I received. And I wish I had got it sooner. There is hope. There is help. Frontier Behavioral Health. No other carrier provides service and signal to the mountains, like the mountains' very own Appalachian Wireless, now providing service to Knox, Bell, and Whitley Counties with retail locations in Middlesboro, Pineville, and Barberville. Appalachian Wireless offers a dependable network, exceptional customer service with a service that goes wherever you travel nationwide. We are local people serving local people, bringing today's best technology on the latest devices. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The right place, the right time, the right people, the right size. Citizens Bank of Kentucky, the right bank for your life. Citizens Bank of Kentucky, the right bank for your life. Citizens Bank of Kentucky, the right bank for your life. Hi, Big Blue fans, I'm Dave Baker, and you know, I know a little something about great teams and their starting five. Now, the team at Total Pharmacy Care has five locations to serve you. We're talking Pikeville and Phelps and Belfry, Prestonsburg and Martin. No cards, candies, or perfume, just a team of pharmacists dedicated to filling your prescriptions and getting it right. Tell your doctor to send your prescriptions to Total Pharmacy Care. It's not just a name, it's a promise. 2.59 to go in the first quarter. Floyd Central on top, 9-6 to six on top of Prestonsburg. And picking up full court, trying to pick the tempo up a little bit, I think. Exactly. And Prestonsburg has uh, scored most of their points in the lane. Uh, they've got yes. inside on Floyd Central. And matter of fact, Lazar missed a uh, one right at yes. the front of the rim, uh, or this could be closer than what it is. Here's Mullins and tries to go down to Maggard, throws it away. Migrant set that high screen, was trying to roll to the bucket, but the pass was a little too long, and Harville on the other end comes up with an air ball on the three-point shot. Here they come into the front court, Kylie Stevens, and back over to Stevens. Inside it'll go to Migrant. She's working against Grace Martin. Now she's looking for some help. Mullins with it. Floyd Central is picking up their defensive intensity here. And here is Mullins, no good. Got knocked to the floor. Thought there might have been a foul, yeah. but Shannon with the rebound. Gets it over to Harville just inside the three-point line. No. And Johnson couldn't get to it in the corner. It goes out of bounds to Prestonsburg. Yeah, I think the optics of Mullins, uh, she went down, but it was a, a couple seconds after the fact. And right. I think if she would have went down when it first happened. She's trying to draw that foul, but uh, – her acting uh, job was a little yes, late. A little late. A little late. But I think she may have actually got fouled, too, is the bad part. Yeah, I think she did get <laughs> hit. And try to go inside and pass picked off by Katie Jo Moore end to end yep. and called for the charge. That's a good call, I think. Yes. Because she was standing there waiting. Yes. 
Coach Triplett uh, not agreeing with yeah. it exactly, but uh, you know, wouldn't expect him to. No, we, we've not agreed on quite a few things in our tank. Yeah, it's as I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> Nine to six, 145 left here, first quarter. Prestonsburg with the basketball. They'll come in the front court. That's Audrey Prater that's into the game for the Lady Black Cats. Mullins. And again, they try to go inside, pass is tipped, and we've got a jump ball situation, and it's going to stay with Prestonsburg. Last couple minutes here, Prestonsburg's not really got any real good clean looks at the goal. Uh, not really doing a good job handling Floyd Central's pressure. Well, they, they've, uh, they're they sagging down inside. That's where Pressburg been scoring and uh, not being able to get the pass in there. Here's Mullins out of the corner, ties it up. Can't leave her. At nine, Selena Mullins. Yeah, can't leave her. And that one was so clean that it uh, <laughs> caught the net up on the rim. Don't see that very often. No, well, this net down here, it seems like it's happened a lot. Last yeah, yeah, it has, and, yes. Uh, but this not net, not very much. So that's when you know you're shooting the ball the right way. That's yeah, for sure. Exactly. 115 left. It's tied at nine. Good pass. And move. Compton is in the game. Try to get it into Martin, but good look. A little, little too much yeah. zip on the pass down low. It goes out of bounds. I like that high low action, though. Yes. So Prestonsburg will have it with the chance to take the lead as they're trying to get it in. They find, well, Moore steals it. Great defense pressure that time. Then she throws it away, but Mullins. Mullins into the front court, comes cross over to Prater, and she loses it out of bounds. Yeah, a little, little too much by Moore there. Probably should have penetrated herself. And Floyd, uh, Prestonsburg needs to capitalize on those at least burn a little bit more clock well they're, they're getting what they want defensively as Johnson rolls into the lane and puts it up off the glass a nice pass that time from Grace Martin at the high post and Floyd Central retakes the lead 11 9 here in the front court and here's Prater picks it up gives it over Sloan with the three off the front of the rim no good and Kylie Stevens yeah. had it try to get it to Prater and Stevens was open and Moore called for the walk. Yeah, Stevens got to put that up. Yeah. When she gets that rebound, you just got to go straight back up. Right. She was she was six foot from a bucket and tried to pass yeah. it to a two foot yeah. shot. Yeah. But they get it back on the turnover. And here's looking for, for some help. Still looking and got a. Five second call turnover. Selena Mullins, nobody coming to help her. And she turns it back to Floyd Central with 16.4 seconds left. And they've got the possession arrow too, so they'll get it to start the quarter. It's going to be a big swing if they can convert. And they got the two point lead, 11 9. Yeah. Here's more driving, weaving through traffic to the bucket. No good. Rebound comes off to Mullins, and Ooh, she's going to be wow. fouled on a half court attempt that's uh and that was a good call it, it, you know it, it is i mean you don't you kind of want to just throw a hand up there but i think she went into her body and like you said that's a good call and so mullins is going to have three free throws chance to take the lead with the chance to take the lead no time on the clock And misses the first. Yeah, you know it's a, a good yeah, that's, too. that's a hard step up first. Is. That's tough. That, we had that happen last night, too. We did. Exactly. And this one's good. 11-10. She can tie it with this one. And we're tied at the end of one at 11. Prestonsburg and Floyd Central. We'll be back for second quarter action. This is the Mountain Sports Network. I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Gearheart Broadband gets solutions for your small business right. Fiber connects you to the cloud with speeds up to one gig with digital voice the right video solutions, and local support. Make the right call. Gearheart Broadband. 
Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. All tied up at 11. Floyd Central and Prestonsburg getting ready to start the second quarter. Looks like it'll be Floyd Central basketball. Um, Floyd Central made a little run there, but Prestonsburg answered right back. I mean, this is the pace that you want if you're Prestonsburg. I mean, you're looking at 44 points in the game, and that's, you know, if you're Floyd Central, you need to get this pace going a little bit quicker. You're right. Uh, Selena Mullins finished out that quarter yeah. for Prestonsburg with a three-pointer out of the corner and then two out of three free throws, so she started out into five point and here's more and that's her spot just not yes. able to hit it and Pressburg comes off with the lead Mullins or excuse me with the rebound looking for the lead Mullins with it in the front court now Sloan three she's going to hit one of those as uh, she's their number two uh, yes. three point shooter and she's not going to quit shooting them and Johnson too far under the bucket and um, Rebounds come off to Sloan, knocked out of bounds by Moore. He'll go to Prestonsburg. I think one of the most important parts of the game so far for Prestonsburg is just limiting Floyd Central to, I mean, I don't think they've got any offensive rebounds. And, you know, that one and done. And here is a over and back yeah. as that was uh, Stevens got into some trouble, tried to get it back over to Sloan, but she hadn't come into the front court. You know, you We've never got, want a turnover, but that not being a live ball turnover, I mean, you, that dead ball, they got to take it out and run their offense. You're right. Uh, a little bit better than it turning into a layup. We've got Natalie Holly in for yes. uh, Floyd Central, number three. Prestonsburg staying in that 2-3 zone, and inside it goes to Mullen. She's, or, or uh, Grace Martin, triple team. Shot rebound comes off to Katie Joe Moore up and in. Johnson missed the shot, but Moore's worked the uh, boards really good down yes. in the side of the lane so far. 13 to 11. Here's Lazar going to the board, and Grace Mullins with the block. Grace Martin, excuse me, I keep calling her Moe. And on the other end, Moore with the miss, and then there's going to be a foul on the rebound. Yeah, a little block party down here with uh, Grace. We've had quite a few blocks tonight. Yeah. And here's a ball picked up inside by Johnson. Still on the floor. It's going to be tied up. Prestonsburg will have the possession arrow. Getting those bodies on the floor. Good defense by Grace down here to just hold her ground. Lazar was trying to draw the foul. I, but That was one of them stay out of my house blocks. Yeah. Sponsored by Gearheart Security, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We've seen a few. And here's a pass that's blocked. And Katie Joe Moore goes in and puts it in. And Floyd Central out by four now, 15-11. That's their largest lead. Yeah, easy baskets in transition. And Sloan tried to get it inside. Here's Mullins with a three. That's big. That's her 10th point already. Yeah, she, she's come to play tonight. 15 to 14, Floyd Central. And they try to go inside the Martin pass tip, intercepted by Sloan. Here's Lazar on the drive, split a double team and shot off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, Holly on the move, go over to Katie Joe Moore, back to Johnson, up and good. And we've seen that yes. combination a couple times already here in the first half. What a pass. And here's Holly with the steal. And no good, but Mullins will pick up the foul on the shot. It'll be her first. Yet yeah, turnovers are kind of coming into play here. Right. Because all of uh, Floyd Central's half-court offense not looking that good, but their transition, you know, off these turnovers are converting. Yeah, they're, they're really scoring a, a lot of fast-break points. Yeah, easy points. And points off turnovers as Holly makes the free throw. <laughs> Riley Compton into the game for Floyd Central as Grace Martin will get a rest and 
seen Lazar go uh, to the bench, but I didn't see who came in for it. I think uh, Prater came back. Oh, no, yeah. Maggie Nelson back in or Prater? Yeah, we got Maggie Nelson and Prater both in. Right. Got to attack. There's Kylie Stevens, and she throws it away, trying to get it down to Nelson. And on the other end, as Harville puts it up and in off the left hand, and Prestonsburg needs a timeout. 21-14, it's going to be a full timeout. 5-14 left first half. This is Rena Mountain Sports Network. The right place, the right time, the right people, the right size. Citizens Bank of Kentucky, the right bank for your life. Citizens Bank of Kentucky, the right bank for your life. Citizens Bank I suffered with addiction as a child. I was raised like in a normal home. I had hopes and dreams to be something. But it wasn't until I finally got into a program and I just said enough is enough and I didn't want to live that life anymore. It was uh, other addicts that had gotten clean and changed their lives that invited me into their life. They showed me what it was to have compassion. There is hope. There is help. Frontier Behavioral Health. 5.14 to go till halftime. Jaguars extend their lead out to 21-14. That's kinda their largest lead. Yep, yeah, they're kind of imposing their will, turning Prestonsburg over and turning it into easy points. Yes. Prestonsburg will have it, bringing the length of the floor as Floyd Central picks up full court on that 1-2-2 two, two pressure. Got a deflection, couldn't come up with the steal as Mullins comes into the front court. Prater will go over to Sloan. Back over to Mullins, she'll fire that one up. And off the back of the rim, no good, but Sloan comes off the rebound. Mullins, top the circle, count it. She's ready to play. There's no hesitation no. when she gets uh, a chance third, to shoot it. Third three-pointer already. And here's Moore is nearly turned it over and Smart play by Katie Joe Moore. She was down on her knees and tipped the ball over to Johnson, and Johnson puts it off the glass and in. Jada's eighth point. 23 to 17, and Nelson is fouled as she tried to drive the baseline. That foul's going to go on Johnson. 4.30 left, first half. 23-17. It uh, might be a little close to what people expected out of this yes. one, uh, Justin. Yeah. And Sloan, and it's 23 to 20. I said she'd hit one of them before it's over with. She keeps firing it up. Prestonsburg has nine points this quarter, all threes. Well, three, they came in averaging yeah. eight makes a game, and uh, they might be uh, above that average. Here's Kylie Stevens with the steal. Yeah, they've already made four. She'll get her old Sloan Mullins, and Mullins passes tilt, and Moore again with it, but Sloan was able to control it, and then she throws it away. Good battle for the ball there. She got a little, yeah. a little excited and wanted to get rid of it. Coach Kidd looking at her and, and palms down and says, slow it down yeah. as we got a media timeout. 23-20, Floyd Central, there's your Mount Sports Network. you need when you need it most. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Hey y'all, so today me and Maddie decided to bring Connor and our girls day to Southern Prep. We started off with Odro Tees and me and Maddie moved to our favorite brand, Thread and Supply. Me and Maddie picked out our favorite polo from Honored Reserve. Next was Southern Marsh and his favorite, the normal brand. Y'all stop by and see Corey at Southern Prep for the cutest outfits all year round. Hi, Big Blue fans. I'm Dave Baker. And you know, I know a little something about great teams and their starting five. Now, the team at Total Pharmacy Care has five locations to serve you. I'm talking Pikeville and Phelps and Belfry, Prestonsburg and Martin. No cards, candies or perfume. Just a team of pharmacists dedicated to filling your prescriptions and getting it right. 
Tell your doctor to send your prescriptions to Total Pharmacy Care. It's not just a name, it's a promise. It's March Gladness here at Pop Chevy in Prestonsburg, which means we've got 0% for up to 72 months and 1.9% for up to 84 months on select new vehicles. Got a stimulus check coming? Put that money down on a vehicle that's going to last longer than this pandemic on one of our hundreds of pre-owned vehicles here on the lot. Come take advantage of March Gladness here at Pop Chevy 600 US 23 in Prestonsburg. You'll be glad you did. 3.58 to go. Till halftime, Floyd Central hanging on to a 23 to 20 lead. And I do mean hanging on. Boy, they are. And, and you know, you take the turnovers that Prestonburg's <laughs> yeah. had yes. and the missed shots in the lane, and they could very easily be ahead of this game. Yes. Here's Compton with it. Over to Moore. Prestonburg still in that 2 3 zone, and Moore shoots an air ball, but Sloan tipped it trying to get the rebound, so he's going to stay with Floyd Central. Got a break on that one, Jeff. Yes. Yeah, more a little off on her game tonight, but it, it doesn't take but one to get her going. Couple. She's had some beautiful <laughs> yeah. assists, though. Yes, she has. And here's a 12 foot elbow jumper, and that right on cue <laughs> yeah. knocks it down. Yeah. 25 to 20, 335 left, first half. Mullins working in the front court. Floyd Central is like in a 1-2-2 two, two matchup zone right now. Mullins, and here's the block. That's that stay out of my house block by Gearhart Security as Floyd Central picks it up. Johnson driving the baseline, kicks it back out to Harville. Holly out of the corner with a three. No good. Rebound comes off to Sloan. And... Nelson on the other end, double oh, dribble. Yeah. Lazar with some extended minutes on the bench over there. She is. Don't know if she's having some kind of a physical issue or not. Didn't look like to be. They're hanging close without her being in there as uh, Grace Martin comes back into the ball game. Yeah, Coach Kidd just asked her if she's ready. She's at the scorer's table now. And... Ooh. Moore is fouled on the drive down the lane, and I think they're going to give her shots on that one. 21, Olivia Sloan with the foul. Clock rests 246 here in the first half as Katie Jo Moore knocks the first free throw down, and her team lead back to six, 26 to 20. Their largest has been by seven. And makes them both. 27 20 matches their largest lead. Let's them get in that pressure, too. Sloan into the front court. Lazar right off the bench. She tries to take it to the hole, and Johnson falls down, and she reverses. Uh, Lazar does back in the lane, and Johnson picks up the foul. That's two on Jada. Boy, she's seen that opportunity uh, when uh, yeah. Johnson fell down. She reversed and quickly went back to the rim. Yeah, yeah, she slipped, and she Lazar was ready to attack. Probably a good foul by Johnson, too, to not give up the layup. Trying to get it in. There's Mullins gets it in to Sloan. Nice screen, and Sloan tried to get it over to Nelson. Knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Prestonsburg. And again, maybe an overpassing. Yeah, got to put that up. I mean, yeah, and yeah. maybe try to draw that foul on Grace, but you've got a good lane. There's Sloan back to Mullins, back to Sloan. No good on the three. Grace Mull uh, Martin comes off with the rebound. And six footer in the lane gets the roll, Katie Joe Moore. And here's a near steal. In the front court, Kylie Stevens with the three. No. Rebound, Grace Martin. Danger zone for Prestonsburg here. Yeah, Moore. Harbor, Arkham three. No good. Selena Mullins with the rebound. Under two needs minutes. An answer here. They need a good, good shot. Yeah, they need a bucket. Stevens working. And good defense. Beautiful defense that time. And Katie Joe Moore on the other end. She's going to be fouled by Nelson as she tried to put it up and in. And that defense was uh, Chelsea Johnson into the game, number 22. And uh, yeah, great defense. 
Knocked it loose. Moore picks it up, and now she'll be at the line. Yeah, knocked it loose and got the save, too. Diving out of bounds. And Moore misses the free throw. Audrey Prater comes back in for Prestonsburg. 136 left first quarter. It's 29 to 20. Floyd Central. And they're leading double digits now at 30 to 20. First double digit lead of the night for Floyd Central. Sloan. Step back three. No good. Holly has the ball taken away from her by Lazar, and that's a layup for Lazar. Yes, that, I like them letting that ball go, too, and not calling that quick jump ball. And here's Katie Joe Moore with the three rims out. Good grace. Grace Martin wades in with the rebound, puts it up and in, and it's back to a 10-point lead, 32-22. Under a minute to go, first half. That's Grace's first two. Yeah, and Lazar is going to pick up the foul. Yeah, she tried to extend it a little. Yes, a little too much there. That's her second foul too. That's a. Uh, that might be the reason Coach Kidd had her on the bench. She is has a uh, pendants to uh, get into yes. foul trouble. Yeah, that, especially uh, in the bigger games. I mean, under a minute to go, you know, away from the. <laughs> Here's Floyd Central working. Moore. 15 footer, no good. Rebound comes off to Sloan. 35 seconds left here in the first half. Let's see if Freshburg will work for the last shot. And he'll come over to Prater. Back to Mullins <laughs> and again, Chelsea. Chelsea Johnson anticipating the pass, shot to passing lane and knocks it out of bounds. And nearly comes up with another steal. Yeah, she's taking advantage of her opportunity out here. Just the freshman. Beautiful spin move by Sloan in the lane and fouled on the shot. See who they get. They're going to get number three. That's Natalie Holly. 18 and a half seconds left. It's 32 22. Sloan will be at the line for two for the Lady Black Cats. Need to capitalize on this. We've got a viewer from South Dakota rooting Ooh. on Olivia Sloan as she knocks that first free throw down. Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a long way there. Yes, it is. Well, we're nationwide. We're that's worldwide. Right. Worldwide. <laughs> Sloan makes them both. Now, Pressburg needs to get a stop here, yes. and they'll go in with a eight-point deficit. Holly, she fires a three. Count it. <laughs> Boy, she hesitated and then throws it up, and that's the largest lead of the night as Mullins at the buzzer, no good. So 35-24 at the half. Floyd Central with the lead. We'll send it back to the station. Be back shortly. This year in the Mountain Sports Network. Hello, Bob Hutchison here with Hutch Chevy Buick GMC in Paintsville, Kentucky. This month, spring has sprung. Save up to $8,000 off the new Buick Envision and take $3,000 off the new 2021 Equinox. Plus, get 0% financing for up to 72 months. And it all comes with our spring guarantee. You'll never pay too much when you buy from Hutch. Hutch well, spring is here with warmer temperatures and sunshine. Now that means let's go camping. Pikeville RV has new campers arriving daily and they've added two new lines, new Cherokee travel trailers and east-west campers. Whether you're looking for a drivable, fifth wheel, toy hauler, travel trailer, or pop-ups, Pikeville RV is the place to shop. Remember, they have a great selection of pre-owned campers that qualify for buy here, pay here. It's time to go camping. I'm Jennifer Reynolds, and I've been a State Farm agent for over 20 years here at Pikeville. We offer all the products and services available through State Farm Insurance. You'll receive all the benefits of a State Farm agent in a convenient location while being serviced by my licensed staff in a friendly office environment. Call us if you need a quote for auto insurance, fire, life, or health, or if you need information on our financial services product. Our commitment is to you, our clients. Walk in, call in, or click in anytime, day or night. 
Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Hello, Bob Hutchison here with Hutch Chevy Buick GMC in Paintsville, Kentucky. This month, spring has sprung. Get up to $7,000 off the new 2021 Chevy Silverado and take $3,000 off the new 2021 Equinox. Plus, get 0% financing for up to 72 months. And it all comes with our spring guarantee. You'll never pay too much when you buy from Hutch. Hutch on up your dot com. Well, here it is. Brand new floors, brand new fireplace, and brand new stairs. So you want to buy it? Can you believe how quiet it is out here? Her again. Dealing with a child of realtor? Well, it's not about them, it's about you. Make an adult decision and call us. No one sells more real estate than Remax. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now, you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Even on the most perfect day, the unexpected can happen. But with just one call to their local Red Ribbon expert at Overhead Door, they can get their garage door fixed or replaced in a jiffy. The genuine, the original Overhead Door for all of life's little ups and downs. Welcome back to Junior News Arena where it's a half of night's first game between Floyd Central and Prestonsburg as Floyd Central holds the 35 to 24 lead here at the half. And before we get started in on the stats, I'd like to let everyone know again that tonight at 7 o'clock on um, Channel 5 and HD 105, you will see live coverage from the 59th District Boys Tournament. It will be Shelby Valley and Pikeville as the games here tonight and also the game from the 60th District Pike Central will be going out live on WPRG TV fa uh, Facebook page. So we've had some people, uh, Texas, you know, won't know why the game's on and we've got the live coverage coming from Pikeville tonight. But the playback on tonight's game here with Floyd Central and Prestonsburg, you can see it at 9 p.m. tonight on Channel 5 and HD 105, and at 10.30 tonight, you can see the replay of the Pike Central and Phelps in the 60th district. That would be the boys, and that would be played back at 10.30. And Justin, give us some fast first half numbers. For Floyd Central, led in scoring by Katie Jo Moore with 11 points, seven for Kennedy Harville, three or two for Grace Martin, Jada Johnson with eight, and Natalie Holly with five. Hit that big three there at the end of the second quarter. Uh, they were five for six from the free throw line and outscored Prestonsburg 24 to 13 in the second quarter. So that kind of gives us our 11-point lead there. Prestonsburg led in scoring by Selena Mullins with 13 points, Faith Lazar with six points, and five points for Olivia Sloan. And they were four for five from the free throw line. And, you know, Prestonsburg, uh, just kind of cost herself, kind of shot herself in the foot with some turnovers and some, you know, overpassing, like you said earlier, and just missing some shots right at the goal. You know, they're going to have to have those if they wanted to try to pull the upset here tonight. Yeah, they they was trying to work the uh, basketball down inside, and 
just like you said, sometimes they was uh, had an open shot and would try a three or four foot pass instead of taking the shot, and it resulted in turnovers for Prestonsburg. Of course, uh, the press also hurt them in the backcourt yeah. also. Yeah, and it you know for Floyd Central, there I think Prestonsburg did a good job in their half court defense, but. You know, when they turned Prestonsburg over, they were turning those into easy baskets down here on the other end and not really making Floyd Central work to get the point. So exactly. uh, that, that's going to spell trouble if you're Prestonsburg. You're exactly right. So we're going to take a break, send it back to the station, and we'll be back for second half action. 35-24 at the half, Floyd Central over Prestonsburg. Opening round game of the 58th District Girls Tournament. This is the Mountain Sports Network. <laughs> For your business, for your family, for all your hopes and for your dreams, for the future, for the big stuff and all the little things. We're right there when you need us, standing by your side, Citizens Bank of Kentucky, the bank for your life. From the blue hills to the green fields, country lanes, city streets kentucky proud kentucky strong serving all your banking needs and you'll always fight we pride ourselves in treating others right citizens bank of kentucky a bank for your life citizens bank of kentucky we want to be your bank for life the bank for your life I made straight A's. I was a cheerleader. I had a decent growing up. I feel like it was just out drinking with friends and then it turned from drinking to smoking weed and doing pills. It just progressed. And I just said enough is enough and I didn't want to live that life anymore. There's hope for everyone. Today, I can be an employee. I can be a mother. I can be a genuine person today. All those things I couldn't be before. There is hope. There is help. Frontier Behavioral Health. No other carrier provides service and signal to the mountains, like the mountains' very own Appalachian Wireless, now providing service to Knox, Bell, and Whitley Counties with retail locations in Middlesboro, Pineville, and Barberville. Appalachian Wireless offers a dependable network, exceptional customer service with a service that goes wherever you travel nationwide. We are local people serving local people, bringing today's best technology on the latest devices. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Hi, Big Blue fans, I'm Dave Baker, and you know, I know a little something about great teams and their starting five. Now, the team at Total Pharmacy Care has five locations to serve you. We're talking Pikeville and Phelps and Belfry, Prestonsburg and Martin. No cards, candies, or perfume, just a team of pharmacists dedicated to filling your prescriptions and getting it right. Tell your doctor to send your prescriptions to Total Pharmacy Care. It's not just a name, it's a promise. Back here on the hill at Betsy Lane, Floyd Central 35, uh, Prestonsburg 24, getting their last final instructions from the coaches here, see what kind of adjustments. Uh, you know, Prestonsburg kind of held tight there that first quarter, but Floyd Central kind of sped the pace up and turned some uh, turnovers into easy baskets and spread this lead out to 11. And Floyd Central will have it to start the second half. 11-point lead is their largest. More working, and down on the inside, they go to Martin, and it's going to be a held ball, and that'll go to Prestonsburg as Maggie Nelson made a good defensive play, stepped yeah. around Martin and tied her up on that one. Yeah, yeah, that was good heads-up play by Maggie. I think she was going to come out there with it anyway if they let it go. Right. That would have been better. They could have yes. saved that possession, Harold, couldn't they? And here's Lazar working. Reverse dribble. Man, wow. I tell you, beautiful crossover. Misses it. And Nelson misses the putback. Moore comes off with it. Another missed opportunity for the Black Cats. Yeah, point blank, too. And here's Johnson out of the corner. Three. And she's having a big game. Lead blooms out to 14. So danger time yes. for Prestonsburg yes. right now. Big time. Need an answer. There's Sloan working with it, Lazar. Boy, I tell you, she can stop on the dime, yeah. can't she? Yeah, she can. And gets. then misses the shot or the, in the lane. Katie Joe Moore comes off with it. Long pass up court. 
Hotley, or excuse me, that's uh, Harville, and she puts it in. And Coach Kidd quickly calls a timeout as Floyd Central's come out on a 5-0 run and extended the lead to 16 points. Yeah, that's uh, not what you're looking for if you're Coach Kidd and exactly what you're looking for if you're Coach Triplett. Uh, just a quick start, and, you know, Prestonsburg, again, just point blank. I mean, they missed a couple opportunities. They did. Well, you know, that, that's uh, actually a five-point turnaround because yeah. they missed the two here, and then Johnson hits the three out of the corner. So Yeah, and then missed another, you know, makeable shot from Lazar yeah, here. Lazar down the lane. Turns You're into right. a layup for Harville. So going to have to shore that up if you're Prestonsburg, if you want to – I mean, you, you need to not let it balloon out of control anymore. 16 points. Sloan will bring into the front court for the Black Cat. Lazar. Jab step. Johnson wouldn't take the fake. Nelson out on top with it. Now Stevens. Running the old flex. And him. inside, yep. uh, beautiful pass inside, and Lazar puts it in, and that will stop the bleeding for now as Martin goes inside, and Katie Jo Moore again with the same play on the other end. Yes. The I high mean, post and the uh, flex action on the wing, breaking under the bucket. 42-26, and here try to go inside. Sloan couldn't handle it. Moore comes off the rebound. Free throw Good line. Pass. Jo oh, and her and Johnson's worked great together. Yes. Tonight. Great pass. Good un unselfish play. Jada Johnson puts that one in. And the lead's 18 as Floyd Central is stretching it out now. Yeah. Sloan out of the corner. Three. No good. Rebound Johnson. Yeah, this On is the, the move. Pace. Into the corner. Harville three, no. And Martin tried to save it in, but he comes in to Prestonsburg and Sloan will have it into the front court. Lazar. And Ooh. Martin had the block, yeah. but they said she got some of the arm, so. Yeah, this is the pace, though, that Floyd Central is looking for. I mean, they're going yes. up and down, and they're kind of speeding Prestonsburg up, too. Right. Well, you know, Prestonsburg is falling behind by 18, so they're forced to play that yes. game to yes. try to uh, pick the pace up their self as Lazar makes the free throw. We've got Natalie Holly into the game for Floyd Central. Also, Audrey Prater coming in for Prestonsburg. Lazar will have one more free throw. And it's also good. 44-28. And Lazar would take a rest now as number 23 comes in, making her first appearance, Alexis Schemes. More into the front court. Free throw line jumper up. Oof. No good, but she's fouled. Foul on Prater. Moore would be there for two. Four. Well, we got uh, the clock is still running. Definitely not a running clock. And it's not a running clock no. situation. Finally, the official sees it. Don't know how much time ran off, but I did. I knew though. I looked over at it, and it was 4:57, and I seen it running. So, yeah, probably uh, about 5:05 or something like that. Maybe should be put back on. Yeah, Pre Prestonsburg going to have to speed the pace up. Going to have to knock down some of those threes. I mean, they've shot a bunch, but you know they're early in the game. They had hit four and yeah. they've not hit one cent. Well, so. they, they average eight a game, so they're only halfway there to their yeah. uh, average. So let's uh, see, they've got 459 put back on the clock. So Katie Jo Moore, she had the one free throw. Now she'll have the second one and makes them both. 
455 left third quarter. And here's Mullins driving it in the lane. Turn around on a double team. No good. Rebound comes off to Johnson. Quickly up court. Holly to the bucket. Up good Ooh. and one. Good finish. And the Jag Lady Jags are rolling now. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, up and down. That's the pace they're looking for. And having fun doing it. You know, sharing the ball. Exactly. Finishing. Holly's had a good game tonight. That's her seventh point. Could make it eight. And she does. She's had the two point bucket. She's had the yeah. and one, and she's had a three point. Going for the cycle. <laughs> she's uh, the she got ball cycle. Yeah, exactly. 49 28. So Floyd Central's lead now at 21 points. Pressenberg working, Sloan with it. Down the lane, kicks it over to Lazar. Free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound. Katie Joe Moore. Long pass over in the corners of Harville. And here's Holly. 15 footer rattles out. Look, looked like it was going in. And she shot it with confidence. Here is Prater with it for Pressesburg to Sloan. Selena Mullins. And they know uh, yeah. to get on to her really yeah. quick. Here's Skeens with it. Her shot up, no good. And rebound. Knocked out of bounds off of Prater of Prestonsburg. It will go to Floyd Central, and we have a media timeout. 48-28, Floyd Central with the big lead. 3.50 left, third quarter of this Rena Mountain Sports Network. I reckon they got it straightened out. I suffered with addiction as a child. I was raised like in a normal home. I had hopes and dreams to be something. But it wasn't until I finally got into a program and I just said enough is enough and I didn't want to live that life anymore. It was uh, other addicts that had gotten clean and changed their lives that invited me into their life. They showed me what it was to have compassion. There is hope. There is help. Frontier Behavioral Health. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. Hi, Big Blue fans. I'm Dave Baker, and you know, I know a little something about great teams and their starting five. Now, the team at Total Pharmacy Care has five locations to serve you. We're talking Pikeville and Phelps and Belfry, Prestonsburg, and Martin. No cards, candies, or perfume. Just a team of pharmacists dedicated to filling your prescriptions and getting it right. Tell your doctor to send your prescriptions to Total Pharmacy Care. It's not just a name, it's a promise. All right, we're back here at Betsy Lane, 48 to 28. Floyd Central's extended their lead out to 20 and just kind of having fun with it, doing anything they want to now here in the third quarter. Yeah, they're, they're really rolling right now. They've got all aspects going, hitting the three fast break buckets. And here is Moore, loses it on Good the floor, pass. picks wow. it up, gets it over to, to Harville, and she's fouled as she takes it to the bucket, and she'll go to the line for two. What a pass from uh, Katie Joe from the floor. And first free throw up, no good by Kennedy Harville. She'll have one more. And makes the second one. 49-28. Prestonsburg will have it into the front court. Sloan with it over on the left side. 
Where's Prater in the lane, and she's going to be fouled. Back on Holly, that'll be her second. A little man to man. Prater, just an eighth grader, a good looking eighth grader. We've seen her have a couple big games yeah. this year. Yeah, and Skeen's out there too, 23. I think she's just a seventh grader, maybe. Uh, they've got her listed as a junior. Oh, okay. They played another young girl. And Mullins gets it into Sloan, back to Mullins, and again, just overpassing. Uh, had the shot, uh, I thought uh, Sloan did. And Harville, tough shot on the baseline, no good. Rebound comes off to Mullins. Three minutes to go, third quarter. Here's Prater. She takes it in the lane, and then her pass is stolen. Harville down the lane, over to Moore, behind the back. Johnson, Harville. 15 footer good. Kennedy Harville. Yeah, Sharing the basketball yes, that's really good. That's what great. I was about to say, Larry. Uh, you can tell you're having fun. Well, I mean, they're all touching the ball. Everybody's looking for somebody else. So. Press Merwer here, Skeens. And she's going to be fouled on the shot. Grace Martin tried to get the block. Yeah, Grace, uncharacteristic of Grace to go reach for that block because usually she goes straight up. And, and she's not uh, had a, a good scoring game tonight. No, either. she's not. Alexis Skeens, free throw up and good for Prestonsburg. 51 29 now. Floyd Central with the big lead. Clock resting with 2.34 left here in the third quarter. And second free throw also good for Skeens. Now she'll get a rest as Maggie Nelson back into the game. A little three-quarter court action from Prestonsburg. A 2-2-1. Two, two, you don't see that one very often. And here's Compton. Shoots an air ball and out of bounds off of Prestonsburg. Two of Prestonsburg players fighting each other for the rebound. Johnson steps out under her own bucket. And she'll get it in to Compton. She'll try three this time and good. Dialed too, it in the first time. She's too close <laughs> that first time. <laughs> she Riley was Compton. To figure out the range. Well, she got it down and <laughs> pat on that one. And on the other end, here's Nelson. And she's going to be fouled down low. 54 30. Jada. Floyd Central in the second and third quarter so far has come yes. out and really put this one uh, yeah, they uh, have. just about out of reach. 207 left here in the third quarter. Nelson's free throw good. Yeah, and Prestonsburg with only one field goal so far in the third quarter. Prater comes back in and also uh, looks like uh, Chelsea Johnson in for Floyd Central, second free throw, no good. Moore runs it down, long pass up court, and uh, that's a uh, horrible. She's just standing there at the three-point line saying, give it to me. Yeah. 57-31. And again, down inside, Prestonsburg fouled on the shot. Yeah, attacking the... The goal, I mean, they've, they're they living at the free throw line right now. Well, you know, in the first half, they got a lot of uh, work down low. Yes. But they didn't get the whistle. And now they're getting the whistle, but yeah. might be a little too late. Yeah, a little too late, 25-point lead. As Sloan makes the first free throw, 57-32, 150 left third quarter. And she makes them both. They are seven for eight from the free throw line this quarter. Floyd Central, and again, over to Harville. Good ball Working move. around in here is Shannon with the three. No good. Mullins comes off the rebound. She averages nine re uh, a game, and yeah. she's probably got that many already. Yes. And works it down the lane. Shot up. No good. Foul call. That's four or maybe five yeah. straight trips down the floor. Prestonsburg has took it inside yeah. and, and drew a foul. And that's six team fouls. Of course, all of these have been two shot fouls. Yes. And Mullins makes that one. This will be their 10th free throw. 57-34. 
And make it 35 as nine for 10 from the free throw line in the third quarter. So have they had a field goal? One. One field goal. Faith Lazar. And here's Harville, baseline, count it. She's hot. Yeah, she's dialed in now. She's found the touch. And she's calling for the basketball. That's when you know you've got that touch going, right? Yes. And did you ever did you ever have that when you played? No, I didn't. A have, time or two? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just shot it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a steal as Prestonsburg couldn't do nothing with it. And Moore on the other end Ooh. rolls around the rim and drops food. <laughs> 61 35 as they've stretched the lead out to 26 points now and Mullins down the lane and she's going to be fouled. Free throws again 11th and 12th free throws. Yeah, it's always a good feeling when you get that uh, when you know it's going in as soon as you get it. And right. I think Harville's found that when you shoot it yeah. and before it gets to the rim you just turn around and run back down yeah. the floor. Mullins misses the free throw. Prestonsburg, that's only their second miss here in the yeah. uh, third quarter. 50 seconds left, 61 35, and on Prestonsburg offensive end, it's turned into a free throw shooting contest. Yes. And they've done well, but you can't trade baskets when you get down 20. Exactly. You got to get some stops. And here over in the corner, Harville. Count it. Wow. She can't be stopped. She's rolling. She is rolling. Yep. Yeah, that's she, a good feeling. How many she got? Well, let's see. She's got. You get your calculator out. Here's Mullins down the lane. She's got 13 this quarter. Shot no good. Gets her own rebound. 13 here in the quarter. Yeah. Wow. And here's a pass tip stolen. Compton with it. On the left side up. No good, but she's fouled. And that's going to be three on Mullins, four team fouls. Yeah, Harville's got 20 for the game, 13 20. this quarter. Riley Compton makes the first free throw. She'll have one more. Her team up by 30 now as it's 66 36, and Floyd Central punching the ticket yes for friday night championship game and next week at the 15th region yeah big answer and from the first quarter here's mullins fouled on the drive he'll be the one and one as that's 18 fouls wow yeah this is a like i said free throw shooting competition amongst themselves down here well i, I think uh, this could be like six or seven trips straight they've shot yeah. free throws And misses the front end of the one and one. Rebound comes over, and here's Harville. And can't get the shot off before the buzzer. So at the end of three, 66 36, Floyd Central, this Random Mountain Sports Network. Well, here it is brand new floors, brand new fireplace, and brand new stairs. So you want to buy it? Can you believe how quiet it is out here? Heard him. Dealing with a child of realtor? Well, it's not about them, it's about you. Make an adult decision and call us. No one sells more real estate than Remax. Well, spring is here with warmer temperatures and sunshine. Now that means let's go camping. Pikeville RV has new campers arriving daily and they've added two new lines, new Cherokee travel trailers and east-west campers. Whether you're looking for a drivable, fifth wheel, toy hauler, travel trailer or pop-ups, Pikeville RV is the place to shop. Remember, they have a great selection of pre-owned campers that qualify for buy here, pay here. It's time to go camping. Back here at Junior Newsom Marina, getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Floyd Central gets that separation that they were looking for early. Took them a while, but 66 to 36 over Prestonsburg. It took them a while, but uh, they they found the they found their sweet spot. Well, we was tied at 11 at the yeah. end of the first quarter, so they they've outscored them. What's that? 55 to 25. Yes, I mean that's in, uh, the, in the second and third quarter. And I think that's what some people anticipated coming in here. But you know, Prestonsburg had a game plan and. I think they've just kind of run out of ammo here. Exactly. And here's Moore with it. Look for 
Coach Triplett to uh, put his starters on the bench, I'd say, quickly here in this quarter as Compton shot no good. Rebound comes off Lazar back into the game. She's been in and out, as we've uh, yes. talked about. Uh, don't know if she's had uh, some kind of uh, issue physically or what, but she usually plays a lot more minutes than she has and, and, and not being in foul trouble. Yes. Yes, he's, um, you know, last game of the season, too. You know, you got to hang it all out on the line. So, hopefully everything's okay. Here's the three. No good. That's Kylie Stevens. Mullins, again, with the rebound, gets it to Lazar. Lazar gets old Mullins, breaking to the bucket up. And that was a block by Compton. That's one of the old stay out of my house blocks brought to you by Gearhart Security. Been quite a few of those tonight. Yes, they have been. And here's the long three. Oh, oh, rattles in and out. Rebound back up by Shannon. No good. Prestonsburg with the rebound. Mullins in the front court. Mullins working at the top of the circle. Goes over to Sloan. Lazar quickly double team. As she's got more on her, she needs help now. And here is the steal. Chelsea Johnson goes in, puts it up and in. No fear, took no. it right to the bucket. She's played, she's gave them a good spark off the bench defensively and now gets the bucket too. 68-38. Oh, here's Mullins move. and it's gonna be an and one. Just we'll have our Intermountain Sports Player of the Game, sponsored by Gearheart Security, at the end of the game, and got a couple of good prospects right yeah. now on Floyd Central side. Thirty-one points put up in the third quarter by Floyd Central. <laughs> that's uh, that's half their average. Yes, nearly. yes. Which they were firing on all cylinders for sure. They was Mullins makes the free throw. Sixty-eight forty-one. Lord Central working in the front court with it. And here's a three, no good. That was horrible. She's not missed many of those. No. Had too long of a break between <laughs> right. shots. And inside, Nelson. And her shot's up and good, Maggie Nelson. That's a 6-0 run to start the quarter. 68-43. Well, 6-2, Johnson got that layup. Yes. Chelsea Johnson. Yes. I haven't seen Jada in a while, of course. Well, uh, she picked up her third foul. And here's a pass knocked loose and on the floor and still scrambling for it. And Lazar reaches in, gets it, and then throws it down to Nelson. She fumbles it, and she's going to be fouled by Shannon. And that's going to be 10 team fouls, so it'll be the double bonus the last 523 here in this First game of the girls 58th district tournament. Our night cap will be should be another good one. Yes. Uh, Lawrence County and Betsy Lane. Shot no good by Nelson on the free throw line. She'll have one more. And second one up and rattles in. 68 44. Floyd Central working in the front court. There's Chelsea Johnson. Horrible. Natalie Holly in. Let's see, they've got Harville and Shannon. Them's the only two starters that's in the game, but uh, they're both what, sophomores? Yes. So, well, Shannon's a senior. Oh, yes, yeah, Shannon's a senior this year. Okay. And there's Compton shot no good. Rebound comes off to Maggie Nelson. Mullins. She works. Good defense by yes. Shannon. Keep her in front. And she's still working. Now goes in. She likes that spin move and tough shot. No good. Rebound comes off Chelsea Johnson. Pass up to Harville inside the three-point line. Nothing but nylon. Kennedy Harville. She, I don't know what her career high is, but she might be uh, nearing it. And she's had a good one. And there's a shot no good by Sloan. Rebound comes off to Shannon. 
Chelsea Johnson. Holly on the baseline. Rose in and everything's falling for the Lady Jaguars yes. right now. Holly's had a great game. That's her 10th point off the bench. So 72 44. Kylie Stevens and Mullins with the three off the front of the rim. No good. Shannon with the rebound. Breaking free. Harville goes in and misses the layup. Johnson's shot is blocked. One of those stay out of my house. Gearhart security shots and then it's thrown out of bounds and we're going to have a timeout. 72-44 Floyd Center with the big lead. We'll be right back. This is Rena Mountain Sports Network. No other carrier provides service and signal to the mountains, like the mountains' very own Appalachian Wireless, now providing service to Knox, Bell, and Whitley counties with retail locations in Middlesboro, Pineville, and Barberville. Appalachian Wireless offers a dependable network, exceptional customer service with a service that goes wherever you travel nationwide. We are local people serving local people, bringing today's best technology on the latest devices. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Experiencing pain or an injury is part of life. Whether it's chronic aches and pains, athletic injuries, or recovering from a surgery, HPT Physical Therapy is here to help you return to your normal activities safely and as quickly as possible. We've been serving the community of Eastern Kentucky for more than 20 years and have convenient locations in Pikeville, Prestonsburg, and Paintsville, Kentucky. Check us out at hptphysicaltherapy.com. You have the choice of where to go for physical therapy. Choose the best. Choose HPT Physical Therapy. Well, here it is. Brand new floors, brand new fireplace, and brand new stairs. So you want to buy it? Can you believe how quiet it is out here? Her again. Dealing with a child of realtor? Well, it's not about them. It's about you. Make an adult decision and call us. No one sells more real estate than Remax. It's March Gladness here at Pop Chevy in Prestonsburg, which means we've got 0% for up to 72 months and 1.9% for up to 84 months on select new vehicles. Got a stimulus check coming? Put that money down on a vehicle that's going to last longer than this pandemic on one of our hundreds of pre-owned vehicles here on the lot. Come take advantage of March Gladness here at Pop Chevy 600 US 23 in Prestonsburg. You'll be glad you did. Back here at Betsy Lane, Floyd Central 72, Prestonsburg 44. Got some substitutions in for Floyd Central. We'll pick those up. A lot of them's been in the game. Yes. But yeah, he doesn't have a big time bench over there. Here's Prater working for Prestonsburg. Sloan, long three. No good. Prater battles for it, and it's out of bounds off of her. Goes over to Floyd Central. Chelsea Johnson will bring it up into the front court. We've got number two, Kylie Hall, and number one, Chloe Crace, into the game for Floyd Central. Just working it around the three-point arc now. Now they go down inside, and that's number 13 working for it. That's uh, Haley Little. Uh, misses the shot, but... Prestonsburg can't control the rebound, goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Lady Jaguars. 257 left here in the game. And stepping out of bounds. That's number two, Kaylee Hall, and Prestonsburg will have it. Sloan into the front court for Prestonsburg. Prater to Sloan. And Prater will fire up a three. No good. Rebound comes off Haley Little. Good rebound. And up it'll go and shot up and good. Kaylee Hall, the freshman for Floyd Central, gets into the score book. Nice shot. And we've got number five, Allison Howard, into the game for Prestonsburg. Yeah, she uh, is she the seventh grade. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. 
And working around Sloan, they'll get it over to Howard. And her pass is deflected. Then Prestonsburg comes back up with the steal. Prater, long three, no good. That was Alexis Skeen's rebound comes off to, is that Holly? Yes. It? yes. And she's going to be fouled. Only the fifth team foul for Prestonsburg here in the second half, old Justin. Yeah, that's where you kind of maybe left a little on, uh, you know, could have been more aggressive. But Floyd Central moved the ball so well in that third quarter, and, I mean, just knocking down shots, not really much you could do, really. Right. A lot of times he was uh, uh, getting the fast break going, yeah. and there wasn't even no position to foul. And here's a shot no good. That was uh, Kaylee Hall. Prestonsburg will rebound, and then they lose it. Chloe Crace comes up with the steal. Here's Holly down the lane. Hits knocked loose from her. Goes over in the corner and through the wicket. Out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> 131. All that's left. 74-44 as Floyd Central punches the ticket for the championship game Friday night right here at the Junior Newsom Marina. And they will play the winner of the night's second game between Betsy Lane and Lawrence County. Pressburg working in the front court, Skeens. And here he is Prater with it. Down the lane, back out to Skeens. Fire, oh well, she, uh, well, I, I, I guess it was a foul. I thought she yeah. was shot. It didn't look like a pass, but <laughs> I guess it were hit on the arm and made it look like a pass. Yeah, that's typically one they let go because it looked like possession was going to stay with Prestonsburg. Right. Good call by Mike. And that will be Skeens at the line for Prestonsburg. Misses the free throw, and Justin looks like Kennedy Harville will be the Intermountain Sports yes. player of the game, sponsored by Gearhart Security as Skeens makes the second free throw. Had a big game tonight, 22 points. Yeah, had 13 in the third. Third, and that's when they really opened up the big yes. lead, and she was very instrumental in that run in that third quarter. Yeah, got that Steph Curry feeling. And here's a shot up, no good. That was number 13. Haley Little. Uh, Haley Little. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Floyd Central. It'll go to Prestonsburg. 45 seconds, all we have left in this one. Working in the front court with it, Prestonsburg. Here's Prater. And looking to shoot, that was number three, Goble, but couldn't get the shot off. Now down the lane, shot up no good by Skeens, and she's fouled to go back to the line. 24 seconds left. Seventy-four forty-five. Prestonsburg came into the Knights game averaging 60 points a game. Yeah, well so, below uh, that. Well below that. And what was uh, Floyd Central's uh, average as far as points? 63. So they're That's above 63. That's so the, they, they really had a uh, great offensive game tonight. Yes. And the free throws no good. Knocked out of bounds off of Prestonsburg to Floyd Central. 22.7 seconds less, 74-46. Yeah, Prestonsburg a little below theirs and Floyd Central above theirs. Yeah, That's way above the theirs. recipe you get, you know, well, a 30-point win. So. Uh, Prestonsburg 14 points below theirs and Floyd Central 14 points above theirs. So yeah. it worked out pretty well. And that's, that's the reason you got to 28 yeah. points. That's right. And just dribbling the ball or the timeout and that's it. 74-46 as Floyd Central will move on to the championship game Friday night. They'll play the winner again, as I said, the winner of tonight's second game, Lawrence County and Betsy Lane. So we'll send it back to the station. Be back for some final stats and comments. It's your about the Sports Network. Hi, Big Blue fans. I'm Dave Baker. And, you know, I know a little something about great teams and their starting five. Now, the team at Total Pharmacy Care has five locations to serve you talking Pikeville and Phelps and Belfry, Prestonsburg and Martin. No cards, candies or perfume, just a team of pharmacists dedicated to filling your prescriptions and getting it right. Tell your doctor to send your prescriptions to Total Pharmacy Care. It's not just a name, it's a promise. 
No other carrier provides service and signal to the mountains, like the mountain's very own Appalachian Wireless, now providing service to Knox, Bell, and Whitley counties with retail locations in Middlesboro, Pineville, and Barberville. Appalachian Wireless offers a dependable network, exceptional customer service with a service that goes wherever you travel nationwide. We are local people serving local people, bringing today's best technology on the latest devices. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. I'm Attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. You're on the move every day. You're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now you've got one-touch access to your accounts. No need to remember or update passwords. Make a deposit with a click, not a pen. No deposit slip and no line. And get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. And welcome back to Junior Newsom Marina as we have a final in tonight's first game, 74-46. Floyd Central will move on to the championship game, and Justin has some final numbers. For Prestonsburg, big game for Selena Mullins, 21 points, 10 for Faith Lazar, 7 for Olivia Sloan, 4 for Maggie Nelson, and 4 for Alexis Schemes. They were 18 for 25 from the free throw line. For Floyd Central, led in scoring by Kennedy Harville with that red hot third quarter, 22 points for her, 16 for Katie Jo Moore, two for Grace Martin, 13 for Jada Johnson, five for Riley Jo Compton, two for Chelsea Johnson, and 10 big points for Natalie Holly off the bench. She came in and gave them a good spark. They were 12 for 15 from the free throw line, so uh, pretty good stat line for them. Uh, and Kaylee Hall with two points, too, there in that fourth quarter. That's right. We don't want to forget no. her off the bench. No, no. She came in, hit a hit a big shot. It's always nice to see those players get in and, you know, in the district tournament time and exactly. get a bucket. You're exactly right. And, again, our Intermountain Sports Player of the Game, sponsored by Gearhart Security, is Kennedy Harville with the 22 big points at a big 13-point yeah. Uh, third quarter when Red uh, hot. Uh, Floyd Central put the big run on and extended that 11-point halftime lead out to uh, eventually got up to 30 points. So that's going to wrap it up here for us in tonight's first game as we'll send it back to the station and encourage everyone to tune us back in here in about 20 or 30 minutes. They clean the gym out and then let the uh, crowd in for the second uh, game, and that will be Lawrence County and Betsy Lane, and we'll be right back here to bring you that game, so stay tuned. This is your Inner Mountain Sports Network. <laughs> 